So in this video, I challenge myself to survive as a mammoth in Creatures of Scenario. So my goals are to survive starting as a little baby mammoth and hopefully by the end of the video, I have grown into a fully grown mammoth. But watch as I survive alongside many other dangerous creatures as a baby mammoth. Like, subscribe, and I hope you enjoy, and let's get started. Uh, why am I shaking like this? Okay, it is officially day one. The challenge has started. As you can see, we are a baby mammoth and zero out of 100. And yeah, this is gonna take a very long time. So if I do actually die, I will have to restart all my progress. So hopefully we do not die at all in this video. Come on, can I actually get up this hill? Uh, I'm trying to, but oh. Oh, uh, well, we have fallen off. I like how the mechanics in this game, whenever you fall, you just like slowly float down. Okay, so now it is day two and the sun has risen up and look at us guys. Okay, let's actually go ahead and get ourselves some food right here. Oh yeah, let's also put some mud on us because, uh, you know, we get that little health regeneration when we lay in mud. Okay, so it is snowing and I'm going to the oasis, which is not a very good idea. So not even a few seconds later, I was approached by Felicio. Felicio, a mysterious flyer of the dark caverns at night skies and a alerting swimmer of the dark deep blue. Felicio is a fearsome predator of the land skies and seas. Luckily for me, it was just a baby Felicio. Hello there, Felicio. Uh, please do not kill me. I mean no harm. I'm just a fat little cute chubby mammoth, right? Okay, so it turns out it was quite a friendly creature and we just walked around for a little bit and then it flew off. Okay, this is why the oasis is dangerous. There are a ton of creatures over there and uh, I should probably run away before I become someone's next meal. So the rest of the day, I sat there just watching the sunset. So I woke up in the middle of the night and I saw these two creatures inside of this pond and I was really curious to see if they were actually friendly and that was a very bad idea. Out of nowhere, a Oprah Legion flew down from the skies charging directly at me. Oprah Legion, the majesty of the sky and the abyssal water of the depths, these enormous creatures act as beacons of light to lost creatures despite their scary outward appearance. Most creatures mistakenly attack them out of fear because they tend to hover over creatures when they approach a like predator with its prey. Luckily for me, I was able to dodge its first attack and I began running away and that was when another small creature started chasing me too and this was not looking too good. I was almost at half HP and there was no way I was going to outspeed this little creature so I decided to turn and fight for my life. So I have spawned back in and we have to restart all of our progress and uh, yeah guys, that was not a very good idea. Okay, so uh, I think the game plan here now is to wait, what the, uh, guys, I'm stuck, uh, uh, help. As I was saying, the game plan is to not be an idiot and trust every creature I see. For the rest of the night, I sat on top of this hill waiting for the sun to rise. Okay, we're already having a good start and it is now day two, so let's go ahead and get ourselves some food and um, yeah, just do the usuals. As I was finishing up my breakfast, I noticed that there was a Sigma Tox carrying a big hunk of meat and walking towards the dunes. Sigma Tox, a fabled macabre creature of seemingly unknown descent, this beast stalks prey of all sizes, branding them with its powerful claws. Soon as the Sigma Tox spotted me, it began charging towards me and I was running for my life. This was not looking good at all because I was out of stamina and it was doing massive amounts of damage to me and I had to run into this cave since it was my only option. Guys, I don't even know how I am alive right now, but I have to stay in this corner. Oh gosh, wait, is it going away? Oh no, oh no. How am I still alive? Guys, look at this. I'm still alive somehow. Oh no. Oh no. I, I, I don't know what to do. It's just gonna camp me. I don't know what to do. Oh no. Oh. Well guys, uh, we, we literally haven't even managed to get to like 10% and uh, guys, literally everything is after me. I have died twice. Like my luck is literally so bad. Even though we have died twice, I am not going to be giving up on this challenge because I really want to grow as this mammoth and see how strong it actually can get. And wait, what the heck is that? Wait a minute, is that a bunch of little bezus? Hi there, little buddies. 
And it was at that moment I realized what I got myself into. Bizu. Bizu are intelligent and social creatures that live nocturnally among massive hives, consisting of thousands of their own relatives. Their sting warrants a deadly paralyzing toxin that can prove fatal if even the largest unarmored creature angers a swarm. Bizus live among a queen, however, legend says somewhere out there in the Sonarian prairies that a king Bizu resides within a hive named Baird. I don't know why, but every time I see a creature, I get curious and get close to them. And now I am being attacked by a swarm of bees. This is not good at all. I have so much burn, poison, and bleed. Oh gosh, guys, I don't think I am gonna live this. There's just no way. So knowing that there's no way I'm gonna be able to live this, I took the chance and tried to run for it, but there's no way I'm gonna be outrunning these flying creatures. And I was being swarmed so badly. So this is what it feels like to be attacked by a bunch of bizus. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely absurd. There's only two of them. Imagine if there were multiple. Oh gosh, guys. Oh my gosh, I know how it feels now. I must run. I must run, but I can't. Oh gosh, yep, yep. I, I'm dead. I'm dead. I can't believe that I was literally just killed by a swarm of bees. Now that I have died for the third time in a row, I'm actually going to try my hardest now. And I will complete this challenge. I swear to you guys, I will complete this challenge. And there's a bee. Yep, we are not going that way. Okay, we, we, we actually need to get out of the oasis. Oh gosh, the bee's right there. All right, we are out. We are getting out of the oasis. I actually can't stay over there anymore. It's too dangerous. So I decided to climb up onto this mountain and get a good view of the sunrise and look at it, it is absolutely so beautiful. I have no idea but I was able to scale this wall with ease and uh, I'm surprised that I didn't tumble back down. And here we are guys, look at us, we're such a cute little elephant and um, this is my favorite part of the map if you guys don't know. This little ledge right here because it's literally just such an amazing view and look at it, you can literally see everything. Okay, so now it is now nighttime and I was really hungry so I dropped down to get some food and of course I was watching around me to see if there were any predators lurking around. Wait, you know what? I have actually thought of something. To actually survive, we can probably just move from bush to bush as you can see right here. We're just gonna move to this bush. Look at this guys. Like, this is perfect. There's no way a predator is going to be able to find us. Okay, I'm going to take a big risk right here and move through that bush all the way over there. All right, make sure everything is clear. And now let's make a run for it. Okay, we have made it safely. And I do not think anything has spotted us. So, yeah, we're good. Uh, we're just going to sit here for a little while. Okay, so I have scouted out the area and there really isn't much around here, so that's good. So we can move to this bush over here. And as you can see, we blend in perfectly. Like, like th there's just no way anyone is ever going to see us. So it is officially day two and we have survived one successful night. And yeah, uh, maybe moving from bush to bush is the way to go. Okay, so I'm just going to be staying in this bush and looking around until it's safe. Okay, so it is actually already nighttime and I'm getting extremely hungry and oh 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 no no okay we're, we're actually not gonna be going to get some food there's a spider over there okay so i successfully found some food without getting caught by any predators next to a nice little waterfall okay so now we have successfully filled up our hunger and our thirst and now it is time to go back into a bush and this bush is perfect because look at it it perfectly fits us and now we can just stay here for the night Okay, so now it is officially day three and we have survived three nights in a row, which is quite the accomplishment. And from the looks of it, we're actually about to grow since we're 30 out of 100. And at 33, I believe we should be growing into a team. So now let's actually go ahead and get ourselves some water since I am quite thirsty. Okay, so as soon as I began drinking, out of nowhere, a Dunklacetus popped out and began attacking Dunklacetus. Dunklacetus is a loner who spends its time in bodies of water that are easily accessible to land. Its hunting style relies on bursting out of the water, grabbing prey, and dragging them into the water to be eaten. They nest their young on shore banks where both parents will take care of them. Dunklacetus split up after their young one is born. As soon as the guy had first hit on me, I was gone because I was super low just from a few hits from the Dunklacetus and I was on the run. 
so we managed to actually outrun it and keep a good distance between us, but it was still on the hunt for me. All I was thinking to myself was, I have already survived 3 days and I cannot let this end now. Okay, so thankfully I outran it and it decided to head back into the waters and thankfully I lived to see another day. Okay, so on day 4, I was walking around and I saw a purple looking creature and I wasn't really sure what it was, but I did not think much of it because, I mean, it's pretty tiny. Uh, hello there, elephant. Yeah, yeah, that's me. Um, I I'm very friendly. Uh, all I ask is if you don't kill me. Okay, so it turns out this is a baby Gyrodus and it is currently grabbing onto me and wait, oh, guys, let's go. We actually just grew. L look at this, guys. We're actually a lot bigger now. And um, I guess we have a little baby Gyrodus carrying onto us as we travel. Well, this is something that you don't see every day, a mammoth and a baby Gyrodus hanging out with each other. But um, you know, this is pretty cool. Okay, so after traveling around for a while through the swamps, we decided to take a break at this little area that we found. And yeah, we just sat here for a little bit. Okay, so after the break, I decided to cross this river along with the little gyro and we climbed up this little tiny ledge and our goal was to get on top of this mountain. Look at us guys, we are on top of the mountain and taking a little swim. Okay, so now it is officially nighttime, and me and the gyro were having so much fun and we decided to climb the volcano because not a lot of creatures hang out the volcano since it is extremely dangerous and that will probably keep us safe for the night. Okay, so we got to the top of the mountain and we decided to rest up here for the night and wait till morning. Okay, so now it is officially day 5 and I woke up to the Gyrodus grabbing onto my foot and um yeah, we started heading down the mountain and I am quite surprised that we did not begin sliding down because I mean I'm literally a mammoth, I'm quite heavy. Okay, so the Gyrodus is getting hungry and it told me to stop here and let it take a little lunch break. Okay, so while the Gyrodus finished up all its food, it actually grew into a juvenile. And look at it, it is actually a lot bigger and it is about my size. Okay, so while traveling around, there was a huge golden Sarhingaro. Okay, so out of nowhere, there were a bunch of creatures that began surrounding me, and I have no idea why, but um, I was getting quite curious and trying to figure out why. Okay, so it turns out it is actually you guys. You guys managed to find me in the game, and um, yeah, you guys found me and decided to come and hang out with me, and I really enjoyed hanging out with all of you guys, and yeah, if you guys were actually in this video, be sure to tell me down in the comments. Okay, so now it is day 6 and I have rejoined the server and as you can see, as soon as I rejoined, I actually grew into an adult. Take a good look at this guys, we are way more armored and way, way cooler. So as you can see right now, I'm 67 out of 100 and um, yeah, our stats are doing pretty good right now, so we're actually pretty strong already. Okay, so now that we are a lot bigger, we can actually somewhat defend ourselves and it is currently nighttime and I decided to go and get myself some food. Okay, so while getting some food, I was actually attacked by something and it was so dark, I actually couldn't even figure out what it was until I noticed that it was a xenolith. A xenolith. A xenolith are odd looking creatures unrecognized by most of Sonarian life preferred mostly by their invasive nature of their species. They are somewhat pesky, stealing prey and killing wildlife pivotal to other creature environments. They flourish in small colonies, communicating long distances to each other, both to hunt and to warn others. Okay, so the Xenolith was actually not doing that much damage to me, but what could possibly be troublesome is the amount of toxin that it can actually inflict 
which is extremely dangerous for huge creatures just like me. Okay, so after fighting the Xenolith for a while, I managed to actually get it low enough to the point where it began to run away, and man, I am actually so low right now. Okay, so to heal my ligament tear and my poison, I had to lay down and heal up. So on day 7, I was walking around and that was when I noticed a Flixit attacking a little Gurmas. Flixlet. Flixlet are tiny playful flyers that skim Sonarians, oceans, and light up the skies. Covered in glimmering star fragments, they leave behind bright golden trails wherever they fly. Some say that Flixlet actually came from the stars as curious visitors from another time. Okay, so I saw that the Gramas was in distress and it was trying to fight off the Flixit, but Flixit was grabbing onto the little Gramas and I really wanted to help. As soon as I tried to get the Flixit off of the Gramas, the Flixit began shooting its breath at me, which blinded me. Finally, the Gramas was free from the Flixit and I took my chance to go and take down this Flixit before it causes any more problems. Okay, so on day 8, I was walking around and I found a little Bizu that has spawned in and uh, luckily it did not want to attack me, so that's a very good thing. And I noticed that there was a little frog just hopping around. And um, yeah, I found it quite adorable that there's just a little frog trying to survive in this Sonarian world. Okay, so I wanted to get a little bit closer to the frog, but uh, sadly, yeah, um, it ran away because, I mean, I'm literally a big mammoth charging directly at it, and of course, it should be scared. Okay, so it was getting extremely dark, so I decided to go into this huge cave that I found and rest here for the night. Good morning, Busters. So today is day nine and uh, oh, look, it's a little Crifton. Hey, look at that. Oh, wait, what the, what is that? Is that a lizard? Well, guys, we are very, very close to completing this challenge and uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves some water. Oh, what the frick is that? There is no way this Dunk Laces is still here. Oh my gosh. Okay, now that I'm fully grown, I'm gonna take down this thing. Remember this thing? This thing tried to kill me when I was a little baby. All right, that's it. Oh gosh, wait, it's actually doing a lot of damage. I have a half HP already and I have ligament air. Okay, hopefully we can kill it in time before it kills us. Okay, oh gosh, die, die please. Oh, oh guys, we actually killed it. Okay, so after killing that Dunk Lacedus, I actually managed to find a Valkyrie. Valkyrie, these creatures are said to live for a very long time. Old records say of thousands. There are many stories about the Valkyrie, such as it's originating from the city of Asgard. They fly gracefully in the air, and if one is seen, it is said to be good luck. I was quite lucky to find this Valkyrie, and the Valkyrie began healing me immediately, and that is what this creature specializes in, healing. After healing me, the Valkyrie flew away gracefully. Okay, so I found myself a place to sleep for the night since it was extremely cold and really, really dark. On day 10, I was walking around and today is the final day and we are so close to being an elder. Honestly, nothing is probably going to mess with us because we are such a big creature and if they do, we do have the power to fight back. So now it is night time and nothing really happened in the morning, but something interesting did happen at night. I have no idea why, but there was a Nolumus stalking me and from the looks of it, I know that it cannot kill me but it was trying to do something. Nolumif. Oh, Nolumifs are large blind flyers with humble attitudes and simple motives. Despite having no eyes, the whisker sensors on their body make up for their eyes, as they are super keen to when it comes to micro movement and smells. These frills also contain toxins. They make their nests in trees and caves and like to cling to trees to escape enemies or to hide. Then all of a sudden there was a little creature that began attacking me which barely did any damage and then the Nolumith flew down from the sky and dived by me and began attacking. I still have no idea why this Nolumith attacked me but I beat it with ease. After all this time we have finally reached Elder. And here we go, we can finally become an elder. Here we go, become elder. And here we are, guys. We are now fully grown as the mammoth or the pastagon. And look at us, guys. We're absolutely enormous. Thank you all so much for watching to the end. I hope you guys did enjoy. It has been quite the journey. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in the next one.
the next video. Peace out.